Hello everyone, look what we have right here. This is a brand new model by Timber Creek Housing. We're looking at close to 2,000 square foot on this multi-section house. We've got a lot to see on the inside. I do wanna walk around the outside of here just a little bit, show you a few things up close and then we will step in. We are at the 2024 Biloxi Manufacturer Housing Show. They, uh, Timber Creek has three homes here. They've got this home here. They got a single section in between, which is the first time field tour, a single wide that they manufacture. And then on the end down there, as you can see, that's the big boy. If that one's on the channel, I'll let you know, man, you need to see that tour after this one, okay? Let's see, we've got, let me give you a shot right here of the floor plan for you. I'll try to also pop this up later on as well. Let's see if we got anything down here on this side. I like those windows right there, it looks great. I love how they took the vinyl and then you have your white windows, but then you have it broke up a little bit with that trim there. All right, so that's really, check this out. I know I noticed on the one down there, they got the cedar, but I like how they put this. This is gonna be on all four corners. Notice we got our lights here under the eaves. Let's hop around back, see what we got. All right, so here we are on the back side. We have a sliding door here, several windows. We got these huge windows right here. Uh, that's gonna be the kitchen area. We got electrical outlet, water faucet. Um, really just wanna step back and give you one solid shot of the whole backside. I mean, it just ain't a tour if we ain't at least looking at the back. So, oh, hello. That was the missus checking in. So <laughs> you got to stop video and take that call. Trust me, fellas. Trust me. Just do it. <laughs> now, actually, uh, they were all FaceTiming me because I'm here. Been away from home for several days anyways. So I had to take that. All right. So let's hop back around and get inside this house. Okay. All right. So I also want to give you a quick look right here. We do have a side door. Um, and then we have this huge window there. Let's go ahead and make our way towards that front door. So we have some guys right there walking in. It gives you a little bit of perspective. It's, sometimes it's hard if you don't see somebody like standing in front of the house trying to know just how big it is. But yeah, uh, y'all be sure to drop a like if you enjoy these types of tours. And if you want to help out, I would appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. We got the shake vinyl there as well. I want to point that out. Got the nice porch. Y'all ready? All right, I think y'all are gonna like this one. Let's go. Today's video is sponsored by Cascade Financial. Cascade has specialized in manufactured home loans since 1999, so whether you're looking to finance the home only or both the land and the home together, Cascade has the right program for you. So here we are coming on the inside. And so, yeah, this is one of the three models here at the show that, that is about Timber Creek housing. And uh, I got to tour them last year here and I was blown away by those models. If you hadn't seen those models, you need to check them out. Uh, even though they were from last year, I bet they're still manufacturing those as well. And they were some amazing houses as well. So we walk in, we got the nice foyer. I like how we have that window right there. And then we're gonna ease on into next the living room we have our kitchen over here to the left i'm gonna get to that i want to i want to focus on the living room sometimes i feel like i miss stuff if i start thinking about other parts of the house i want to get a close-up of this light fixture looks very nice I, that kind of reminds me of the one that they had in their home last year Okay, 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 here, I'll give you a look. <laughs> what if I told you that right there is like going into a dungeon? <laughs> it's a pantry, it's wild. Y'all, y'all, it's a pantry. Go ahead, buckle in. Check out our trim that we have around the windows. We have up top and down low on the baseboards as well. I'll give you a closer look, here we go. Let me just give it to you right here. Gonna have that same trim here over at your marriage line. Now, let's get into the kitchen. Look at the length of this kitchen island. And then I like how it raises up. You've got these four bar chairs, which are big, by the way. So lots of room. And then, yeah, do y'all wanna go ahead and go? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Look, we gotta, actually though, let me shut it first. Let me shut it so you can see this five panel door. I love, they, they're gonna have this throughout the house. 
but I love these interior doors. And if we just pretend that wasn't there, let me get way back here. Okay. Kind of cool, kind of cool, right? But what if we wanted to take, <laughs> y'all know where I'm going with this. Just, you know what, cue the music, let's go. Okay, let me slow it down, let me slow it down, let me backtrack. Oh goodness, let me start back over. Yeah, I got a look at, I got a look at this earlier and I was like, yep, it's gonna be, it's gonna be one they're gonna remember, or I need to make it one they're gonna remember. Live by faith, grow in grace, walk in love. Amen. But we have these cabinet doors, we've got this area here, and then you have all your shelving down through here. Obviously, they got it set up with some nice decor, but you know what I might have? A box of Oreos here, some Ritz Craft crackers here, Cullen's Captain Crunch. <laughs> What is y'all's, let's just be real. Let's all just get something off of us. Y'all comment, let me know. What is your your dirtiest snack that you got in the pantry? That you just, mm, that just gets you sometimes. I'll tell you mine, it's chips. Any kind of chips, really. I am the biggest sucker for chips. Oh man, I catch myself all the time going in the pantry and I'm just sitting there just eating chips. I'm like, what are you doing? All right, I told y'all mine now, let me know yours. But yeah, I remember this from the last home here, from the home here last year, sorry about that. But yes, you could tell that's not like wallpaper or anything. We've got our lights here under the cabinets. I do like that a lot. And then check it out, the backsplash goes all the way down there. See what I was talking about though? Like your kitchen islands drop down over here and then it raises up for your bar area. Look at the size of those drawers. All right, come down to the dining area. There's where the sliding glass door is. We also have another electrical outlet on this side. Okay, let's go back down through here. Ooh, I gotta give you a look at these. Let's go down here and look at some bedrooms. Hopefully gonna be able to have y'all a floor plan, but this bedroom is positioned off the back of the house. some stuff in here but you can see just a just kind of a, a standard closet here for a guest bedroom and then back across here we have our first bath of the tour well this is this is a little unique we come in we got the sink over this way and then Got a little something different going on. We got some cabinets, got some towel hangers. And then you're gonna have this totally separate room basically for your shower tub combo. All right. And then another bedroom, which is gonna be 
right that's the one we just looked at and then we have this bedroom here it's going to be looks kind of similar to be honest with you i don't know if, about the dimensions but probably going to be pretty close Whoa, I think I just seen a pet washing station. All right, let's come into the laundry room. Same thing with the five pound door here is this side door on the house. If you're facing the house, be on the left side. I like this cover we have with the breaker box. Look at this. Now that is a pet washing station. All right, we've got our sink here. That's, uh, I think the same tiles in that main bath. I, I kind of got a gl glimpse of it in there. I want to say maybe it is. This is one lucky dog, I tell you. This room all together is really big too. All right. We've seen everything down here. Let's go to the other end and I'm gonna show you the main bedroom. We're gonna finish up the tour there. And as always, I'm gonna give you some information on this particular model, this manufacturer and all that. Try to help you out the best I possibly can. Oh my goodness, look at that. They got those doors wide open, so I'm just gonna let them, let them live. Let them live. Some good information on about Timber Creek. They actually hadn't been manufactured homes for many years, but uh, they have definitely made some leaps and bounds. And I can tell you, I can tell you their models are phenomenal especially last year's. And then I really hadn't got to see the other one down, the big, the, probably their biggest, baddest one down there. I hadn't got to even tour it yet. So, uh, but I would imagine based on the way this one looks and then the sing, I, I did the single wide as well. All right, let's go in here. Here we go. Look, 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 look. I'm trying to get in there, but <laughs> I want to check it out these doors too. These are five panel doors, as you can tell, but they're not like the regular interior doors are a little different. And I want to show you a close-up of the sinks, but it just wouldn't do justice, justice if I didn't back up just so you could see the amount of like area you have in here. All right, before we hit that, let me go ahead and show you. There's our water closet. And then here's the fiberglass tub, huge by the way. Yeah, so this is that same tile that I seen back there, but this shower, let me step back on it as well. Just look how big that is. I, and I'm looking at it on the camera. It's, it just don't look as big as it actually is. I mean, like there's me standing. I mean, you see how small I look standing right here in front of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it again. 
Thank you so much for watching up until this point. Let's get into some important information. Y'all, please share this video if you will. That would help me out a lot. If you haven't dropped a like, then I, I showed you one of, the, one of the baddest pantries in the business. You mean you ain't like the video for me? Come on. Come on. And don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Well, it's time for the outro, and I'm just going to get right to it and just tell you straight up. Okay? Just like, just straight up, I'm talking right there, and I'm talking the truth. I'm talking 100. I'm talking facts. <laughs> this may be the perfect house. I mean, I just got through editing the video. Let me get my camera up here. I just wanted to get up in your grill for a minute. Let you. This may be the perfect house. Let me explain why. Okay. So, I mean, we're looking at, let's see. There we go. We're looking at a house right here, almost 2,000 square foot, no wasted space, huge walk-in pantry, tile shower, uh, big laundry room with the pet washing station, or where to clean your kids off when they come in from playing outside, foyer area, you know, tape and textured walls, big kitchen island, nice size dining spot, huge main bedroom closet, a really good size for this, this size home. Has it all? Is there really anything this house don't have? And I know one thing specific guy named Ryan's gonna say is it needs a real wood burning fireplace. And hey, I can't disagree with you there, but it does have a fireplace and I'm sure wood burning one probably an option. Um, maybe, can't guarantee that. But I'm just looking at the floor plan. Y'all let me know if there's something I'm not thinking of, but I'm really thinking also on the exterior, you know, I mean, it does have your, hmm, just, you know, your, your a multi-section mobile home, double wide, whatever you want to call it, look. But it's got some really nice upgrades with your vinyl, uh, you know, the wood there on the corners. Uh, you got a little bit of a porch there on the front. It's just a really nice option, I think. And, and, and I mean, y'all know me, I'm not tied to any manufacturing, anything like that. I just go around showing everything. But this one right here, I'm telling you, it's a true contender. And also with pricing, which we're finna get into, okay? All right, I'll have information in the description if you if you want some more of that. Our links will be in there. Um, uh, the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. And man, I tried to switch it up. And Thursday night, drop a house that the Amish built that was a little bit out of the ordinary that I do. But I thought, hey, I gotta switch things up because I'm putting out these bangers and the views just ain't coming in like they normally would. And so, now let's switch it up. And I don't know, it didn't do very well. So if you haven't seen that one, the reason I recommend seeing that is because it's just, it's very unique and like, um, it's a well-built house. I put it in the thumbnail stuff, but it's solid. I mean, it's it's like solid, be there for a long time. Somebody's wanting some, like to, to get somebody to build something for them personally. I would build something exactly like that for sure. You know, if you want to rent them out or Airbnb or vacation home, whatever. Okay, estimated retail pricing, this would just be, you know, for at the time of recording, this this house is at a show, so there's a lot of unknowns that we don't have. Um, there's a lot of unknowns that we don't know as far as freight charges, uh, options you go with on this particular house, uh, you know, ex expenses as far as like what you need there at your place to get one set up. You know, we don't know if you need septic, if you need power, water. Uh, we don't know in depth what you need at all. So it's gonna be arranged for you, but it'll be a good idea for the time of recording. Here you go. Uh-huh. Right there, adds to it. Now, I haven't made the thumbnail for this house, but I imagine somehow I've got to incorporate perfect, perfect paint, perfect pantry. No, I mean, it is a nice pantry, but that's not like, that's not what defines this house. So somehow describing its perfectness. Hmm. I'm going to work on that. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope y'all have a tremendous weekend. I hope you get to spend some time with your family and uh, cherish, cherish those moments this weekend. Maybe, maybe you're off work and you get to just relax. Take that time to relax. Like don't stress yourself and your mind out about things that are out of your control. And then before you know it, money rolls around and you didn't really get to relax. Just relax. Watch a few videos. That'll help you relax. <laughs> See y'all.